Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Hope everyone is doing well here today. I want to give a huge shout out to Alien Gamer for going and providing 19 minutes of early Warzone mobile gameplay. If you guys want to go and subscribe to him, link will be down below in the description. But let's begin here, man. Holy. Guys, this is also my first time reacting to everything here. Oh, dude. Right, like, all things considered, this going and being a mobile game, this looks phenomenal. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, my God. Right? Look, look at all those guys that we're going and landing on in. All right. Yeah, dude, right? I know so many people are going to be... Ooh. Right, like armor plates. This is this is exactly Warzone, man. I, I don't know what else to, to go and say. I love how the HUD is situated here too, by the way. Everything looks clean, like having to go and pop plates. That looks nice. Oh. I also don't know whether or not these are real players that he's going up against or if this is just AI bots. Like, this guy looks real that he's going up against here. Oh. Okay, so that's just, like, the melee mechanic there. Just going and using your gun. Right? Like, guys, I really do like the whole HUD situation. It looks super simple. Not anything super complex going on. You can see your cash right next to the gun here. If you want to go and swap weapons, that seems pretty basic. If you want to go and open up your backpack, your inventory going on there, just to click on the button. Right, you have the microphone set up in the top right. Oh, that looks so good. And then, yeah, in the top left, you can see, like, the total amount of players. That's obviously going down. Oh, the armor boxes. Dude, this is pretty much like candy here. <gasps> Trophy system. Right, so, dude, this is going to be... Ooh. This is pretty much Warzone on mobile here. Obviously, Warzone mobile. Yeah, looting seems very good here. Right, like, dude, there's... There's a whole lot to go and be worried of. Like, whether or not Warzone and mobile is going to be exactly like what Warzone is like here on console. Oh, I didn't even see him go and pick up that airstrike. But, man. I, you know what? I will say this. Like, the hit marker indicator, that does seem, like, a little bit weird. Like, it, it kind of looks weird on the screen, right? Maybe, like, it's too big. But... Oh, I'm assuming maybe later on in the settings, you'll be able to go and change that. I'm trying to go and think about what it's like here in... Uh, oh, right? I'm trying to go and think of what it's like in uh, COD M here, just for the Battle Royale. Precision Airstrike Incoming. Oh, dude, the dolphin diving mechanic is so good, by the way. Right, like, I can see a lot of people kind of complaining about the graphics here, but, bro, like, let's say, for example, obviously, there's going to be a lot more fine-tuning that's going to be happening in this game, but I really would not complain if this is what the graphics ended up going and being, like, somewhat, right? Ooh. Like, for me personally, all I care about is good gameplay, like, how the game feels, all of that. Oh. And they even do, do go and say, like, currently in development. But, like, right for the most part, I think from, like, a mechanics aspect, I don't know if there's going to be much of a significant change. Oh, this is, like, the menu. Oh, this is some cool stuff to go and see. Right, you can go and change sensitivity of your aim, all that types of stuff going on here. Oh, bro, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to go and get my hands on this game here, bro. It's going to be so sick. Guy is 13,000 in cash. Currently at six kills here, too. Oh, there is also a bounty that's on the map. That's cool to go and see. Right, like, dude, I, I'm pretty sure Warzone Mobile is going to be able to go and capture all of the same mechanics of Warzone. Like, the contracts that you have going on. That's one thing that I've always wished that, uh, 
that COD M had for, for Battle Royale was like the option to go and do contracts, right? Or even just like the buy station alone. Oh, that bounty's gonna be close. But right, being able to go in and get a bounty contract and then have that be highlighted on the mini map and then actively trying to go after said uh said bounty, I think that's so cool. Ooh. I haven't really seen many in in buildings gunfight. And this seems is this like a scalable building? Oh it is! I was about to go and say, like, I wonder how many of these buildings you can go and scale. And, like, dude, right? This is just a singular, singular building. How they're able to go and get away with this on, on mobile, I have no idea. Because this does look like a very solid replica of the Verdanska map here. It is just so crazy. Oh, he's just going and camping it out on the stairs here. What's going to be the move here there, Buster? Also, guys, on how many devices is this game going to go and be available on? I have no idea, right? Like, will this be available on, on low-end devices? Or is it going to be just like its own... Ooh. Right? I think that was a real dude right there. Oh, you have the option to go and execute her too, but he just wanted to uh, kill the man straight off, right? It says contract completed. Guy is a whole lot of cash. I would love to go and see how like, oh. Right, it seems like there is almost a mixture between real dudes and bots. My guess would that would be that that dude was a bot. It also seems like they're, or, oh, you know what? Since the dudes are going down, I'm assuming... Oh, double kill, team wiped, right? Like, I think they're either going and doing duos or squads. My guess is that they're probably going and uh, doing some duos here. But yeah, I, I think that might have very well been like an, a real team. Also, you can go and see the gas mask right below the money right down there too. I think this guy's just going to go scale this building and then jump off the roof. Honestly, this is going to be so sick to go and witness. Oh, and you can see the trophy system here too. So there'll be pretty much ease of going and placing that down on top of like vehicles. I'm also hoping that we can go and get some like vehicle gameplay going on. That'd be so sick to go and watch. Oh my god, this is right. I remember on like Warzone on Council, it was such a hassle trying to go all the way up on these roofs. It would take so long, but right, like, dude, you're scaling pretty much a skyscraper here. And what, there was like 16 floors? Oh, dude. Oh, God, just got a self res. Awesome. Good to see that that here is going to go and be available, but. What is the plan? Dude, this looks so good. I cannot wait once again to go and get my hands on this here, man. Right? Also, there was a lot of dudes that went and dropped into, like, hospital, but... Oh, that's so sick. Oh, there's... Wait, is this, like, a loadout? Pick up. Oh, yeah, man just went and grabbed his loadout. Dude, loadout. Oh, that's so sick. Nice. Oh, also, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of these guns, I think, should go and be... Oh, the AX-50. I'm pretty sure all of these guns should go and be Modern Warfare 2 guns. FSS Hurricane. I personally have not went and played Modern Warfare 2 yet, but I'm assuming if you have, a lot of these guns are probably pretty recognizable. Oh, man's tossing a nade. Right, also, I don't know how the whole cross-progression thing is going to go and work. If I'm not mistaken, at least from what I've heard, I'm pretty sure that if you go and level up your account right now on Modern Warfare 2, and let's say, you know, you want to go and get your guns gold, all that types of stuff, it should go and transfer on over to Warzone Mobile here too. So, like, going into the game, you can already go and have a huge, massive advantage over players if you already have all those guns leveled up. So, I don't know. Like, dude, I might have to start going and getting around to maybe even doing streams of me playing. Oh, nice. Precision airstrike on the ground. 
But, right, like, if that's something that you guys want to go and see, me just, like, leveling up guns and kind of messing around, I'm 100% down. Oh, buy station. Buy station. Armor plate, self-res, ammunition box. Can you buy a loadout? My guess, my guess is that the bottom option was... Ooh. I'm assuming bottom option was available there for you to go and buy, like, a loadout for 10k. Oh, this is so sick. Wait, did he just pop a UAV? I think he did. Closest guy. Oh, fire sale. It is so awesome to go and see that return. Also, where can you go and see? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, you can go and see that his precision is right underneath the mini map there. Fire sales usually went and lasted 30 seconds, I think. Or maybe it was a minute. No, I, I want to say it was like 30 seconds. Some sniper gameplay here, baby. Come on. Oh, using the precision. Airspace is too crowded in this area. Man, I still have no idea how they're able to go and, and pull this off, man. How they're able to go and, and pull off like a legitimate council experience on mobile here. Oh, dude, that guy just got fried. Oh, my God. Oh, and all his loot, like the whole looting aspect is still same to what Warzone is like on council as well. Just inbound. My guess is that this whole hospital area is going to be an exact replica, right? A lot of people who've already went and played with that are going to have such an easy time progressing around. They're going to be able to go and have like a nice advantage here too over other players, right? Because my guess is that the same tactics used in Warzone on, on Council for, for Dance Cure is probably going to be able to translate very easily onto mobile. Wait, is there like a... Oh, I guess there is like a delay in for how fast you can go, go right? Like, that, I want to say right next to the aim button to the left of that, there was like a speed boost type of thing. And I guess there's like a fatigue is my guess. I, I don't know. I'm hoping to actually go and see some vehicle gameplay here though. But right like graphically, I want to say I'm on the best graphics here. I know that might be the main complaint for a lot of people. But dude, I don't think it's insanely bad. And for all I know too, this could be on like low graphics. But oh, sniper gameplay. Oh, dude, I wonder how the sniping is going to go and be like in this game. Because at least in the COD M Battle Royale, it is not very good. Like, it seems like it's very... Right, sometimes the snipers can be good, sometimes it's not. It's just very inconsistent. Like, I don't know if anyone who has won and mastered snipers in the Battle Royale... Maybe, like, someone like Lotex, for example, but... Ooh. But still, just consistently being good with the sniper, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's kind of a feat to go and do. I'm just hoping that the sniping is a little bit better in, like, this battle royale. Also, there is, like, a... I, th I think there was, like, a king. Oh. Inside here. Dude, what do they call this place in... I'm trying to go and think about what all the streamers want and call this area over here. But right, very iconic location in Verdansk. Right? Dude, I, I think I am starting to go and recognize a lot of these MW2 guns here, too. Oh, what do they go and call this place? I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting what they went and called that. Oh, but right, like, dude, there were there were other contracts back where that dude just went and came from. There was, like, a recon contract. There's going to be a vehicle up over there. Oh, beautiful. It's so satisfying to go in here. Oh, oh, grenade? Oh, bro, there's also an RPG right there. It's so satisfying to go in here, that team wipe sound effect, too. Man, yes, guys, that's 17 kills. Right? Like, the way that he's going and playing this, it is almost making me think that maybe... Maybe a lot of these guys are just actual human beings. 
Oh, it even goes and shows like how many people are spectating. It says nine spectating. Who knows? Maybe, maybe all of these guys are real. I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Maybe that's. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Just inbound. Right, this guy just went and heard some shots over here. Like, just based off how strategically he's going and playing, that's that's why I'm thinking this way here, man. Oh. Right, dude. I don't know, that's, that's going to be an interesting thing to go and see, is what the whole, like, time to kill situation is going to be like in this game. Is it going to be too high, too low? Because for me, with going and playing a lot of Warzone 2 recently, I think that the time to kill in that game is a little bit too high. But I don't know. Like in this game, it seems like people are dying pretty fast here. Yes, this guy does have his loadout, but still, they are getting fried. Also, that king is going to be in the on the right of this guy here too. Ah, dude. I know that I've said this countless times. I cannot wait to go and get my hands on this game here, man. It's going to be so much fun. How many of you guys are genuinely looking forward to going and playing this game? Right? It all comes down to how many devices this is going to be available here for. Oh. All right? Seems like you're going to have to go and leave your shot a little bit. Oh, this guy coming back from the gulag, I'm assuming. Okay, right, like, maybe, okay, that looked like a bot right there, right? That had to have been a bot. There's no way that was a real dude. Yeah, unfortunately, and it just said Gulag is closed. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go and see any Gulag footage, even though I think that'd be so sick to go and look at. Guys, trying to get a little bit of hype here. Oh, chest shot, loadout drop incoming. Oh, wow, kind of a late circle for that to uh, go and drop. Or no, I, I guess that's normally how loadouts would uh, would go and drop in, right? There's always one that dropped in late. This guy is having the struggle of a century trying to go up over that. Oh, that dude's down. I love this area of Verdansk here, too. Right, you had the storage. Storage was to the right where this guy's at. The train yard is just straightforward there, too. I love these set of houses. Oh, he's up. Uh, precision. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man's popping a UAV playing the smart. There's usually a whole lot of snipers that you'll find in that building where the dude just went and died at there. You have, like, the firehouse right up there. Oh, and then that little swimming pool area outside of storage. Guys at 21 kills. Oh, also, I saw, like, a dude on the roof, right? Oh, line up for the headshot. Oh, that was so satisfying. Right, it even goes and shows up as, like, saying headshot there. Dang, that guy with the, with the king. I wonder whether or not his boys are going to be coming back on in. This is a 1v1. This is going to end up going and being final dude. Oh. Oh. Okay, that guy has to be real. That guy has to be real. Oh, is he going to go and win? Oh. Was he hopping in the vehicle? You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocation. Oh, dude. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing any vehicle gameplay. This guy. Wait, wait, wait. He was able to track him through the wall. Okay, yo, dude, what was that? All right, well, hey, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay here, man.